G'day and welcome to the start of new Hearts of Iron 4 campaign. So this one, um, we're going to be going for a couple of new achievements. I uh, haven't played this for quite a while, so it'll probably go badly to start with. Uh, we're going to be playing as the Kingdom of Hungary. So let's select this, make sure Iron Man mode is turned on. Um, Kingdom of Hungary, yes, save and play. So the things we're going to go for are... Better than the St. Stephen. So as Hungary, have Miklos Horthy as a naval commander and build a battleship. That sounds pretty easy. Uh, the other one is Miklos Horthy and the Habsburg Prince. As Hungary, restore Austria-Hungary. Will be probably quite a bit harder. <clears throat> All right, so research. We'll start off same as usual with research speed. And then the third one will jump down to uh, support weapons, I guess. Now, civilian factories are going to build military factories. And I did see um, there's something weird about Hungary. Military factory construction speed minus 50% and recruitable population down, plus the fact we're starting as a disarmed nation means we only have 52 men standing around. So our military factories are going to uh, try and build infantry equipment. We're going to put everybody in one army under the command of whoever is toughest, Ivan Hindi. Sounds fine. Um, he can aggressively execute battle plans, I guess. Battle plan will be on um, Austria and avoiding mountains wherever possible if we end up actually getting to do this war. Okay, so the national focus. For one of these, we have to go down restoration of Austria-Hungary. I don't know if we have to get all the way to reclaim the empire. But <clears throat> to be able to do elected king, we have to have support for the F-48P which is the uh, monarchist party, the non-aligned party. Um, then we have to go invite the Habsburg prince, where the ruling party has to be non-aligned. So you have to be careful not to uh, go fascist or anything too soon. And then I guess we'll try demanding a referendum. Control Upper Austria, Tyrol Lower Austria. And we get cause, cause, cause and then keep working the way down. So I don't think that we have to be non-fascist except for inviting the Habsburg Prince. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Haven't actually read through uh, the rest of that properly yet. So first national focus, yes, will be balanced budget. Will give us some political power. We have insufficient resources and low manpower. Um, did notice there's an extra thing now with hovering over these tells you the actual range of your planes, which is pretty cool. But we're going to uh, send them all away, get the manpower out into our armies. That was everything. All right, we got up to speed five for probably the first couple of years. Don't care about planes in reserve. Manpower is very short. <clears throat> we need 40,000 and we're gaining 53 per month. So yeah, could take a while. <clears throat> Can we go away from this? Volunteer only would be allowed to do it. Economic law isn't blocking. Does not have national spirit. Treaty of Trianon. So you have to figure out which one of these gets rid of that. It's probably going to be quite a way down. Hmm. Can't see anything that obviously causes it. So, yeah. Elect a fascist king. Sounds fun. But no. Wait for this balanced budget to uh, be done. Protect Czechoslovakia. Austria Hungary offers a guarantee. Don't we have to actually take their land though? Alright, balanced budget is all good. Next up, strengthen the monarchists. And the modification to government. So we can't do that. Can we do getting rid of the export focus? We could go free trade. If we, uh, yeah. Okay, civilian economy would also be good. Early mobilization would have to be fascist, so we can't do them. <clears throat> Political advisor, we want the fascist demagogue, but we don't want to flip too soon. So let's leave that for a little bit. <clears throat> we have experts, so an extra 10%. Or 
Nothing much from them. Alright, we'll just grab the offense to start with. <clears throat> we should have enough points to uh, grab the fascist guy in the next one. Kingdom of Hungary controls this location. What do we have? Three little states. And so does Austria. Alright, manpower's disappeared again. Electronic mechanical engineering. We'll keep going through research time reductions. The German Reich. 5% for the Rhineland. Seems a bit stiff. All they're doing is uh, obviously preparing to go to war. Oh, the start of this game can be slow sometimes. <clears throat> Alright, how are we looking? Strengthening the monarchists. We have another two months or so before we can get the uh, fascist. We'll have the legitimists in soon. F48P are now legitimists. <clears throat> Alright, we have strengthened monarchists. What are we? 36. Uh, at some point we need to research battleships. So I guess better do that now. <clears throat> and in strengthening the monarchy, we shall elect a king. And planes, support. I mean, engineers are always a good idea, but never end up having support weapons as a small country. I mean, we start going for this. Alright. Go, actually... We'll go for concentrated industry. Get our output up. Should probably go for construction early on as well. Alright. As we wait around for this to finish. Current ruling party has been unlined there. Fair enough. And then we'll demand a referendum. Just have to be independent. Austria has to be independent. Restoration of Austria-Hungary. We have to be independent, just have to control them. Protect Czechoslovakia. Everything's good there. Claim Transylvania. Galicia, claim the Bukovina. I mean, you have to go through all of these before you can do that. Need a lot of manpower and divisions in the field to claim Transylvania. And, yeah. Alright, so we'll be able to get here. And then we're going to hit manpower issues. Though, I expect that once we're at war, the uh, Treaty of Trianon will be gone. Alright, Spanish Civil War pops out. And still waiting to elect the king. We can modify the government. Um, you know what, let's try this now. Get our fascist demagogue. Because we only need to start this. And then we should be good. Alright, elected the king. Invite the Habsburg Prince. And Germany is doing a little more. Italy brought it down. Italy and Germany sending their divisions in. Russia haven't yet. Well, Germany's not too busy with the Olympics. Alright, how many Austrians are there? 7 to 12, and we have 16. We can definitely outproduce him. And how fast is this going up? Not too fast. Want the Hawthi government in. I get the feeling that'll uh, prevent him from being the naval commander that we need him to be. Didn't actually look up where that pops out. I'm more worried about this uh, other achievement. Better than the Spent is fun. The Saint Stephen. Having our noble leader as a naval commander.
will be earned when all of that stuff is controlled by us. Okay. Well, we've invited Habsburg Prince. Otto assumes the Hungarian crown. In search of a suitable king, the Kingdom of Hungary extended an invitation to Otto von Habsburg to return to the lands that were until recently ruled by his family. Otto, who has lived in exile throughout Western Europe since the end of the Great War and the dissolution of his father empire, chose to accept the offer. Today, amidst much fanfare and celebration, he was crowned King of Hungary in a solemn ceremony at the Royal Palace in Budapest. So our guy shouldn't be the uh, region anymore. During his coronation speech, King Otto thanked the Hungarian people for their loyalty and devotion and vowed to see the Habsburg lands reunited once more, promising that this time Hungary would be the dominant constituent part. No longer a kingdom in name only. So, yeah, Otto von Habsburg. What a weird looking dude. And what are we looking for? Uh, this one. Can't see it until we actually have a guy selected, of course. All right. And the national focus shall be to demand a referendum. Gets event, Hungary demands a referendum. I'd love to uh, take that without a war. And battleships, not so much. Industry, we need construction speed. How are we going on actually building that? Done in August next year. It's quite slow. Civilian economy, minus 30%. Treaty of Trianon, minus 50%. A bit rough. <clears throat> the dissolution of Austria-Hungary was a mistake. Austria and Hungary are stronger together, and a combination of both is required for either to achieve greatness. The Austrians must be made to hold a referendum on a proposal for the peaceful joining of our two nations. Please. And then restoration of Austria, Hungary. We have to control Upper Austria, Tyrol, Lower Austria. You're going to claim through that one. Don't know how it goes the other way. All right, civil war for fascism. We must unite the people first and then rule them. Not having a civil war. All right, concentrated industry and mechanical computing. It's 37, that's practically now. Let's put the both of these in, assuming that's 38, yep. And there's new stuff here as well. Improved equipment conversion. Huh, okay. And the modification of government. All right, um, next one. A theorist for experience gain and doctrine research time. I mean, how much are we going to use it? Really, we want construction speed. This guy. He can get support front of line now. Uh, the silent workhorse, actually. Zoltan. So with these two, the next one will be the war industrialist. Habsburg restored, daily support for unlined, national unity, political power gain, oh nice. Alright, the referendum has succeeded. Shortly after midnight, Kurt Schuschenig announced that the Austrian people had voted for a union with Hungary. A telegram has arrived, formally offering Otto von Habsburg the crown of Austria in a first step to revive the double monarchy. We annex Austria. Austria votes to unite with Hungary. Awesome. Fascist sympathies in the military. Public support is a vision. We shall have a coup. And restoration of Austria Hungary. Seems a little weird, actually. Austria votes to. Yeah, I think this just hadn't popped up. Austria votes to unite with Hungary at the insistence of the Hungarians. Austria has carried out a referendum on the possible reunification of the two nations under the Habsburg crown. The final count has almost been completed. It was already clear that it is a landslide victory for the reunification camp. No irregularities in the voting process have been reported, and the Austrian government has found itself obligated to reform into a regional government of the Hungarian state. Though the move is greatly welcomed by the Hungarian public, the, the political repercussions of a referendum will likely be felt keenly throughout Europe. Our brotherly ties have not been forgotten. Okay. So, what's going on here? It seems a little weird that that's still running. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to protect Czechoslovakia next. Want them to be uh, brought into the fold. And how much of this did we get with that? Upper Austria, Tyrol is pretty much all. And Lower Austria, the first three. And unassigned divisions. Right, we get uh, some of their stuff too. One too many. What if we just grab these two and put them in something else? Which can have the highest capacity guy. It's only the one. Alright, dude with massively, ridiculously long name. And the other thing would be, these guys... I don't know, line up on Czechoslovakia for a bit. He's got some forts along there. Hmm. Alright, well, if we did break through, we'd want to go this way. Up through Prague, if we're forced to go to war with him. And how many men does he have? Democratic Bastion. Um, 19 to 26 compared to our 25. So we still outnumber them. Just don't like his forts over that side. And we do need to get to the sea. Then we have to take out a mm, chunk of Italy and most of Yugoslavia to uh, get that achievement, don't we? Where exactly are these? <clears throat> Bohemia, we're up. Oh god, we have to take chunks out of them as well. Palestine. Tuscany, Lorraine, Lombardy, Emilia Romagna. Yep. Alright, the restoration of Austria Hungary is done. With the reunification of Austria Hungary completed, the Hungarian government has gathered international press in Budapest and announced the restoration of the Austro Hungarian Empire. King Otto has assumed his rightful title as Emperor of Austria and has reiterated his vow that, though the empire is yet but a shadow of its former self, he shall not rest until all Habsburg lands have been reunited. The neighbours undoubtedly eye the proceedings in Budapest suspiciously, like a phoenix from the ashes. Alright, we shall protect Czechoslovakia. We're fully independent, Czechoslovakia exists. Gets us offering guarantees, however much that's going to mean to them. Probably just going to put us at war with Germany. Alright, and we wanted the war industrialist. And at some point... Uh, where are we? This one. We're going to want to build military factories all the way out through Tyrol. Maybe we still have a gold mine in there. Alright, and how's this going now? 95 per month. We should try and figure out how to get rid of the Treaty of Trianon. Um, that whole branch is knocked out. Fascist coup d'etat. Or the government becomes the ruling party. Um, is that a bad thing? We are Austria-Hungary. Get our reign of terror. We are Austro-Hungarian Empire. So, we'll be earned when all this is owned. I mean, we restored that. So, I don't know. We'll see, eventually. And now that we are very fascist, what do we want to do? We want to fabricate on these guys. Justify conquering, I don't know, Slovenia. Send that. It's probably a better idea to go to Italy first. I don't know. They'd probably join immediately. Now, Yugos yeah, we need to do Yugoslavia before they can be guaranteed at 25% uh, world tension, I think it is. So we can do this in November. It's a six-month thing. All right, seems to be on track. And you know, we're going to get these guys to go stand in Budapest. The last line of defense. Czechoslovakia will be done soon. Alright, construction. We want more construction speed. And conversion speed bonus, not so much at the moment. Resource gain, I don't think bothers us. Reinforce rate up, uh, it's 37. Yeah. Do this now. Still need some coastline so we can start making a battleship. Benny Raw speaks against Yugoslavia. 
Watch out for the Austro-Hungarian Empire, buddy. And what percentage do we do it on? About 40. Interesting. What we might do next is get rid of this guy for... I don't know. Who would we want? Bohemia agrees to a closer relationship, creating a careful balance between the Republican and Monarchist factories, uh, factions in these government. Edvard Benesh has opted for a compromise solution. Veni Roa will be declared King of Bohemia and Moravia, but the Czechoslovakian constitution will limit his powers to only act with the advice and consent of the parliament. Becomes a puppet empire of us. Becomes puppet of us. Twice. Okay. Acceptable. We have protected Czechoslovakia, which I dare say means that we can just turn these guys around, put them on this border, with a view to take that and skip around to that city and I guess try and get over the rivers and head down this way okay and that I assume is all their stuff um, you remember all the things are dot that one. Okay. Hindenburg disaster. Ooh, the humanity. So, next thing. We don't have nearly enough men in the field to do anything else there. Can't do anything else on those branches. So, industrial revitalization. What would get rid of that um, horrible thing? It's all just research stuff there. Secret rearmament. Gains national spirit, which grants recruitable population up, factory output up. Thinking that would be the one. Alright, secret rearmament it is. That power change is huge. Habsburg restored, Reign of Terror, and Zoltan Tildy. 20, 30, 45% bonus. Okay. <clears throat> and... We have some strong divisions in here from Austria. Actually had manpower on their side. And our capital's worth fewer victory points than uh, our second city. Alright, concentrated industry. It is 30, middle of 37 now. Don't really want to do... Well, might as well because I'll forget to do it later when we research the um, newer infantry weapons. Cool. So I'm going to take a short break here, but thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope to see you again soon as we restore the Austro-Hungarian Empire. All right, see you later.